Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Welcome back to my channel. It is me, Ebony Evans. And look, y'all, I cut my hair. Yes, I cut my hair because I'm ready for it to grow healthy and I'm ready just for a new state of hair, okay? And this new season that the Lord has for us. But I'm so excited that you have joined me again for another video and we're gonna dive straight in. All right, so just join me in prayer. But before we do, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. So when I upload a new video, the post notifications will come directly to you, okay? Father God, in the name of Jesus, we welcome you, Holy Spirit. Teach us tonight. Give us new revelation tonight. Show us new insight. Open our eyes. Take the veils off. Lord, let us know whatever it is we need to know in this hour. We don't want to miss out on your move. Father God, in the name of Jesus, anoint this message for your glory. Let it bring you honor. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Okay, so I have a word and we're going to dive in. Okay, okay, this is coming from Luke 8. And we're starting at verse 41. On the other side of the lake, the crowds welcomed Jesus because they had been waiting for him. Then a man named Jairus, a leader of the local synagogue, came and fell at Jesus' feet, pleading with him to come home with him. His only daughter, who was about 12 years old, was dying. At Jesus, as Jesus went with him, he was surrounded by crowds. A woman in the crowd had suffered for 12 years with constant bleeding and she could find no cure. Coming up behind Jesus, she touched the fringe of his robe immediately. The bleeding stopped. Now, the other version says that, I think in Matthew, it says that the woman said like to herself, if I could just touch the hem of his garment, talking about Jesus, okay? Um, and the Bible says immediately the bleeding stopped. Jesus said, who touched me? Everyone denied it. And Peter said, master, this whole crowd is pressing up against you. But Jesus said, someone deliberately touched me for I felt healing power go out from me. When the woman realized that she could not just, I just got a revelation right there. Jesus, my God, listen to that. But Jesus said, someone deliberately touched me for I felt healing power go out from me. Hmm. So even when we go in faith and go to Jesus, expecting healing, receiving healing in this instance, Jesus didn't even realize it wasn't even a, something he really had control over the sovereignness of God. And hear me out before you, you think I'm crazy. He just said, someone deliberately touched me for I felt healing power go out from me. So he, in that moment, it was not something he um, intentionally did. It was something that just happened by way of God's power. Because this woman came to Jesus with faith. It says, but Jesus said, Someone deliberately touched me for I felt healing power go out from me. That means that this woman's faith gave her instant healing. Jesus said, Some, hold on. it wasn't just people pressing up against me in, in the crowds. Jesus said somebody intentionally came to me for healing and healing was released instantly. So just off of faith alone, you are going to be blessed. Just off of faith alone, God is going to supernaturally heal and power. It's like a auto, it's like a cause and effect. When we go with faith and we go with a, with, a, with authority and, and we are and we're desperate for Jesus, there is just an automatic occurrence of the healing release. And, and I think it's so profound that Jesus said, you know, but it wasn't just somebody 
um, just pressing up against me. Someone deliberately, intentionally touched me for I felt healing power go out of me. It's a natural reaction from this woman's faith that healing power was instantly granted to her. And the Bible says when the woman realized that she could not stay hidden, she began to tremble and fell to her knees in front of him. The whole crowd heard her explain why she had touched him and that she had been immediately healed. Daughter, he said to her, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. The other version says, daughter, your faith has made you whole. And so what am I saying? There, this woman, you know, and I, I mentioned this in another video too, and I'm just going to briefly talk about it. But this woman did not care who saw her. This woman did not care who was looking at her. She was, she, she was past the point of gossip and what other people thought about her. The only thing that was on this woman's mind was healing power from Jesus Christ. And so I just want to say to you that I truly believe prophetically that we are in a season where God is going to instantly heal and deliver you based off of your faith and obedience. You are no longer strapped down by what people think of you and how people view you. You care more about healing from Jesus. You care more about being made whole from the Lord. You are on a new assignment. You cannot afford for what, uh, what, how people view you to deter you and to make you go this direction or that direction. No, your eyes are focused on Christ. So this woman is the perfect example of what it means to be fixated on Jesus. There was just a report that said to her, Hey, um, a, a, a famous ruler's daughter is dying or is dead. Jesus, we need you immediately. And not only that, there was an entire crowd of hundreds, maybe even thousands of people that was pressing up against Jesus trying to get healing. But this woman did not care. She was desperate for a miraculous sign from God. She was desperate for instant gratification. She was desperate to see Jesus Christ in the flesh. And no matter what was in front of her, no matter the obstacle, no matter the tiredness from work, no matter what's going on in your marriage, no matter what's going on in your finances, she, like this woman, you need to find a way to Jesus and say, if I can just touch him, if I can just see him, if I can just see him with my own eyes, what instant healing will be released unto me? We are in a season where God is delivering people like in instant moments because these people are sick and tired of being sick and tired. These people want to see God move like never before. And there is a wave of healing that God is releasing over the body of Christ that those who walk with faith, those who declare his word, those who declare his scripture and plead the blood of Jesus. And no matter what it may look like, they know that healing is coming. God is giving instant healing to the body of Christ. So we, we are in a season where it is pivotal for you to be fixated on Jesus. We are in a season where your destiny is depending on your obedience. We are in a season where your future is depending on your obedience. How will you touch God? The how doesn't even matter. You just need to be desperate enough to go and do it. Because what's on the line, like let's put it in context, the woman had the issue of love for 12 years, 12 years of um, seeing men deny her, 12 years of men in medicine and practices failing her, 12 years of being outcasted, 12 years of feeling like nobody can understand, of feeling hopeless, 12 years of feeling broken, 12 years of feeling like completely depleted. Like, what is my life going to be? I'm, 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 I've been bleeding for 12 years. Can you imagine how this woman felt? She was tired of it to the point where she said, Jesus is the only answer. Jesus is the only way. And I think the Lord is telling me to tell you that if you are not in that mindset of being that desperate for God, you are going to miss out. God does mighty things for those who are 
fully attached to him and fully want to see him glorified. They want to see a move of God. God will reward that type of faith. This woman was a, a blessing to her generation. And we didn't even know this woman's name, but I guarantee you that this woman's legacy is still in her family to this day. Whoever her descendants are, they are believers because of this story that was passed down from generation to generation. That their great, 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 grandmother had enough faith to just touch the hem of his garment. Do you know the hem is like the bottom? It's like the stitching, how the clothing is made at the bottom. She just want, she, let me tell you something. She wasn't even just going up, Lord, I got to hug you. Lord, you need to speak life into me. She said, if I can just touch the hem, the bottom of his garment, what healing will be released to me? And indeed it was. So we are in a season where you have to fix your eyes on Jesus because you know that healing is in him and only in him. You got to be so fixated on God that, that, that it doesn't matter how crazy you look or what other people may think. You are so intentional about healing. Okay. So I just wanted to share that. I have another video. I don't know if I'm uploading that one first or if I'm uploading that after this, but it all is going to connect. And what the Lord is showing me is get ready. I am doing a massive move of healing and it is happening this season and it is happening in the month of May. It is going to happen in the month of June. It is going to happen in the month of July, August and September. And the Lord is saying he is doing instant, sudden healing for the body of Christ. Those who are radically coming to the throne of grace with boldness and declaring healing and touching God and reaching God and desiring God above all else. It is here for you. Okay. Who I just wanted to share that message. God bless you all. And I just have a couple of announcements. The sleepover encounter is in full effect. August 13th through the 15th, we are having a deliverance and healing conference called the Sleepover Encounter. And you can expect activation of the spirit, impartation of the spirit. You can expect deliverance. You can expect healing. You can expect biblical teaching and prophecy. I'm telling you, if you know you need a move of God, if you know you need to be filled, if you know you need to see God like you have never seen him before, this conference, this encounter is for you. The ticket link is in my bio. I'm telling y'all, pray about it. Ask the Lord. Let him confirm it to you. But if this is for you, you do not want to miss out. Okay. And prayer call is every Monday morning, 7 a.m. Central Standard Time. I love you guys. I had to be obedient and share this. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.